Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am the local watch guy and for today's video it's just a simple uh, video of me showing you my collection of my digital watches. Without further ado, let's pop open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so first watch on the list is, we'll start here from the bottom left. It is the G-Shock Casio GA211OET-8A, an extremely long and boring reference code, but nevertheless, a beautiful watch made by Casio. So I made a full review about this watch and I just wanted to say that I did not expect that this watch would be that popular. Um, so when I first got it, I simply got it because I love the colorway, but the internet seems to really love this watch. It seems to be an icon um, compared to the uh, other uh, Casio colors. So a beautiful, you know, Nardo gray, stone grayish. I don't know how to exactly describe the color, but a really nice looking watch. And I believe this retails at around $110. And I'll leave a link for the video uh, showing you my unboxing and full review for this specific colorway. The second watch on the list is the G Shock um, 2100 THB 7A which is, I believe, a special colorway. Now, when I called um, the authorized dealer for G-Shock here in Kuwait, they told me this was the last piece in the mall. Um, and then again, they also told me this was the last piece and I ended up seeing um, this in the mall uh, like probably a month after I bought the gray Casio Oak. So I don't know if it was actually the last piece or is simply just a marketing um tactic to get me to buy the watch but I did not buy this because it was the last piece I just simply like the you know baby pink and the purple and the white just a unique crazy looking color um, I just couldn't say no to it it's something different compared to the average uh, watch that I would usually buy and I don't wear this that often but when I first got it um, it was quite hot here as it was during the summer so this was worn um, quite often around that time and I believe this colorway is just awesome um, if it's uh, to be worn during the summertime. And if I'm not mistaken, um, G-Shock made this as a throwback to their 1990s series uh, which simply included uh, three different pieces. I believe uh, both are octagonal shaped, um, the other one is more uh, square-like and the third one is simply the round uh, G-Shock, but obviously the Casio Oak um, is my personal favorite preference out of the whole line. And then again, surprise, surprise, another Casio Oak. It is the Military Green. Um, I just got this simply because it was more towards the uh, closer to the darker color of the black colorway, which I still do not have and I don't even think I want it anymore just because I believe I have quite enough. But a lot of people were talking about the uh, clear, transparent Casio Oak and I saw someone under my comments uh, mention me about uh, what my thoughts are on that watch. And honestly, I believe it is referenced GA2100SKE-7A. I've seen a ton of pictures of it on Instagram and all I can say is that it is an absolutely beautiful watch. Um, also, just a little quick note, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, be sure to follow me. I'll be leaving a link in the video as well as down in the description box below. And the final Casio Oak is the yellow version, which has the reference GA211OSU9AER. So then again, I'm not sure if it's due to uh, me wearing this out in the uh, uh, extreme harsh sun here that we have in Kuwait or, you know, the color faded, but, um, you know, it's still a beautiful watch. Um, although I have not worn this colorway as often as the gray Casio Oak, 
but I will be wearing it more often in the future, hopefully. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, um, do I really need this many Casio Oaks? Um, isn't one enough? It's particularly the same exact watch, just in a different color. Um, obviously, no. And if you are wondering that, you are completely right. I do not need that many Casio Oaks. But then again, you know, it's great fun to collect these. Um, I simply enjoy uh, wearing these. They're honestly such fun watches to wear. And especially this, you know, if I'm going out uh, walking uh, in the park, or if I'm going to wear this by the beach, or if I'm gonna uh, wear this with a summer outfit, I would say, is honestly uh, makes a huge difference in the world uh, when it comes to attire. So this is the G-Shock Carbon Series, an extremely lightweight watch. Um, I would say probably one of the lightest watches uh, in my digital collection, probably even lighter than the baby G-Shock over there. Um, and we need to weigh them both and see which one's lighter. So if you go ahead and place the GA2000 on the scale, you'll see that it weighs roughly at around 64 grams. So I may have uh, exaggerated a little bit by saying this is one of the most lightest watches in my collection, but you know, you still get the point that it is an extremely light watch. And let me just show you the light function right here real quick. Pretty useful, shows you the date. So uh, what I liked about this watch the most is obviously the baby blue strap or the light blue strap, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm a huge fan of this color and it's actually my favorite color. So this is what made me buy the watch. Uh, then again, I started learning more and more about it and it has you know basic functions uh, such as a stopwatch for 24 hours uh, with an accuracy of one hundredth of a second and a countdown timer, a world clock, as well as five independent alarms and a calendar. And it's also water resistant up to 200 meters. Now, tell me that's not one hell of a watch for its price, but you know, it is a extremely beautiful looking G-Shock. And then again, I know it looks super bulky, but it is extremely light on the wrist. So I know you're wondering why do I have two Swatch Big Bold Jellyfishes. You know, this watch um, is a weird watch, but um, I simply got two, uh, one to wear, one for a collection, as you can still see the stickers are still on. So my dealer gave me uh, two of these, and you know, honestly gave me a really good offer, which I couldn't say no, but um, this is the one that I would wear if I would ever wear these. I haven't worn this watch in a really long time. And this one just stays in the collection. I'm not really sure why I collected it. It's such a weird watch um, that I would have two of them. And a lot of people just simply uh, get confused when they see that I have two of the same watches, especially of this particular watch. But you know, then again, I don't really know what to answer them because I'm quite confused on why I bought two initially. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it at that, you know, then again, an extremely beautiful looking watch. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a baby's watch. I believe it is part of the Baby G collection, which is a G-Shock collection for babies. Um, this is of the uh, famous and iconic Casio F91 series. Um, I got this from Amazon for around $34, I believe. Um, super cool watch, very interesting. Uh, it is a tiny watch. And uh, when I put on my wrist, as you'll see now, you'll notice how small it will look on my wrist. So I'll just show you the watch on the back, you know, plastic buckle. And I'll just show you the watch on my hand and you just see how <laughs> small it looks compared to my hand. So let's put on the wrists. So this is probably the smallest watch in my collection. It is 33 millimeters in diameter. Um, it also has a water resistance up to 30 meters, so that's pretty cool. Um, has a little cool uh, light function as well. So if you simply press this button here, you'll see that it will light up. Um, but it simply, if you let go of it, it will stop the lights, unlike the, well, let's just show you the Casio Oak real quick. If you press the light button, it will stay there for a couple of seconds, and you don't have to continue holding it. So um, you get what you pay for. It's a nice looking watch, you know, then again, 33 mil uh, millimeters in diameter. Um, nice watch. 
ideally for uh, kids or people with uh, small wrists. Well, as you know, it is my favorite color, so I could not buy it and, you know, kept that in the collection. I wear this quite occasionally, so, you know, I would say it is not uh, one of those watches that I just, you know, keep in the box and never, ever touch. Let's place the baby um, Casio with a light blue color on the scale and see how much it weighs. You'll see that it weighs around 21 grams and that is an extremely lightweight watch, probably the lightest watch in my collection. So digital watches are an important key aspect to watch collecting or simply to people that love watches. Now, the reason for that is because they are affordable. Uh, a lot of mechanical watches are, you know, quite expensive, you know, to get a decent mechanical watch, you're going to expect to pay around 800 to a thousand dollars. At least I'm pretty sure there are cheaper out there. But if you want something with a good, you know, decent movement, uh, sapphire crystal watch face, a good loom, a good amount of water resistance, and just something uh, of good quality that will last you quite a while, you're going to have to expect to pay a lot. So this is where digital watches come into play. They tell the time, the date, um, the Casio collection have loom in them, which is a surprise for digital watches. And uh, then again, has a light function, you know, alarm, calendar, and it, I can go on and on for days with what these watches can do. So that is why I believe uh, they're very important for a lot of people. That is all for today, guys. Then again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.